In this video, I'm gonna be talking about sustainability in fashion. Now, this is by no means a topic that I'm an expert on, but I think that we can all learn together. And so I'll share a bit of info with you. You can share a bit of info with me and together we all grow and learn. Lord knows there are so many people out there on the internet talking like they know everything. And I truly believe that most things are unknowable for sure. Um, I think that we can say that we know as much as we know. So anyway, went off on a tangent there. In this video, I'm gonna show you two fashion brands that I really, really love that are truly conducting their business in a very sustainable way um, and also making amazing fashion. Now, as I said before, I am no expert in this topic and I know that probably some of you out there can just school me on this. So I'm not claiming to be an expert. Um, I just know that I'm trying to make better consumer choices and a big part of that is spending my money on fashion with better manufacturing processes and cutting down on fast fashion. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the information that I've learned recently. The fashion industry is one of the largest contributors to pollution in the world. This is due to overproduction of clothing items, which then get tossed into a landfill. Um, ag agricultural pollution from the crops used to make fibers and fabrics um, and the use of synthetic fabrics. Tens of millions of tons of textile waste are produced every year by the fashion industry. Many of these textiles are synthetic, which is another major problem. Natural textiles such as wool, silk, cotton are biodegradable, but synthetic textiles such as polyester are not. Polyester and nylon are created via a chemical process between air, water, petroleum, and coal. Now, for those of you taking notes, petroleum and coal are both fossil fuels, which are limited resources, not sustainable. Not only is the process of making polyester a pollutant, but each time you wash it, it's releasing microplastics into the water, which then makes its way back into our waterways gets eaten by the fish, we eat the fish, you can see that that creates a major problem. Um, so massive pollutant in so many ways. Ugh, I have a lot of polyester clothing. Like this is something that I've learned within the last year. It's horrifying when you think about it. Another problem is the pesticides that are used in the crops to grow fibers, which then causes agricultural pollution. Now I realize all of this can sound pretty bleak. And by the way, I'm not suggesting that any of us stop shopping because I think that's an unrealistic expe expectation. Um, and I don't think that the responsibility lies so much in your hands because I really believe that it, if what was on offer to us was harmlessly and sustainably made, we'd buy that too, but most of what's available is just shit. And we don't, you know, not everyone's gonna put that much research into what they're buying, so you just buy what's available. Yes, you can vote with your dollars, but I think that the fashion industry does have a responsibility to be more responsible at the source and make better options available to the consumer. That's why in this video, I wanna highlight two incredible fashion brands making beautiful clothing in a really sustainable, harmless way. The first is Zazie Vintage. Founded by 24-year-old Jean de Croon in 2017, Jean partners with cooperatives in India, Mongolia, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Afghanistan to create her one-of-a-kind pieces. She utilizes vintage and dead stock textiles. She employs families of artisans who have inherited traditions and skills over decades and places an emphasis on giving back to those communities in more ways than one. For example, the sale of each of her one-of-a-kind Suzani coats goes on to fund the education of a girl in rural India for one year. Here is a quote from Zazi founder Jean de Croon via Vogue that sums up her business's ethos nicely. Making one of those coats involves lots of families chatting on WhatsApp, sending us pictures of Suzani's next to five goats in a tiny village in Afghanistan. It takes months to make them, so short term, it's not the most cost-effective. 
But I believe that is the future of luxury, knowing that every single part of the clothing you are wearing was made with love and care. The next label is one I discovered recently via my friend Meg. Thanks, Meg. Started in 2016 by founder Kelly Wang Shanahan, the Zuron utilizes a traditional Chinese silk called Shang Yun Sha silk to create their classic and timeless designs. The process for making this silk hasn't changed for 500 years, is only practiced in one region in southern China, and production can only take place during four months of the year when the sun is high. The Zuron is the first fashion line to use this silk in the United States. In her own words, Kelly aims to break the cycle of consume and dispose. The production of the silk is slow, intentional, made by the hands of the artisans whose families have carried out the tradition for hundreds of years. Kelly then oversees the production of her stunning label in downtown Los Angeles. The result is an ethical, harmless, slow fashion label of the most exquisite pieces suitable for all genders. As for the word Zuron, it is a concept in ancient Chinese philosophy, meaning natural, spontaneous, and free. 